Welcome to Wallen's offer. Henry David Saru. Henry David Saru. Let's get this started with. Now, Henry David Saru is one of those interesting uh, people in the world, too. He's one of those uh, controversial people, shall I say. He did a lot of controversial things, is what I'm trying to say. So, he was born on July 12th of 1817. And his dad was... And he was actually born in Concord, Massachusetts. His dad was a pencil maker, and his mom was a person who just went ahead with border control, apparently. As a kid, there was much he could do. He liked, he just went ahead, helped his dad with the pencils, went to school, and shabba shabang. Later, he went to Harvard University, very brief task, and he called it the worst university in the world, even though it is considered the best university in the world. That shows how high his standards are. Sounds very Asian to me. Speaking of which, at Harvard University, he went there from 1833 to 1837. In 1835, he took a leave of absence so that he can go ahead and teach people. He went ahead and took courses in rhetoric, classics, philosophy, math, and science, and yeah, all that shebang too. However, he got his PhD, but when he was offered a master's degree, if they gave him the Harvard University five dollars, he said no. Let any let one more sheep keep its skin, which is pretty ironic if you ask me. It's just a master's degree. What is yeah yeah? And one time he was given a doormat, doormat, and he basically said that. He basically went ahead and said that this was an evil and said, we must, we must go ahead and fight evil. And my idea is, what does this have to do with a doormat? All you have to do is walk on it. Well, there again, I'm thinking that maybe people walking on things is also shown as that thing being neglected. So I'm guessing that thing becomes evil? That makes no sense. When he went back to the Concord, he went ahead and met Ralph Waldo Emerson. Ralph Waldo Emerson's essay called... Self-reliance actually influenced, actually influenced Henry David Thoreau into going ahead and doing his own things too. Later, uh, after living with Ralph, and Ralph Waldo Emerson for two years, and Ralph Waldo Emerson and his wife telling Thoreau he was in the house get long enough, even though he did the chores and tutored the kids, he went ahead and sent him to Walden Pond and built this cabin. Afterwards, of course, the experience of which he wrote Walden, or Life in the Woods. In the meantime, while he was living there, he went to the town to just, to just learn things, and then he was arrested for not paying his taxes. And then after he, he, that those taxes were paid against his will, he wrote the essay on civil disobedience, which is about civil disobedience. He died on May 6th, of 1962 due to bronchiosis, which might have, due to tuberculosis turned into bronchiosis, which might have actually had something to do with pencil dust. No joke. And that's it. That's the life of Henry David Thoreau. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this very brief biography. I'm gonna try to keep my videos brief now, cause... And until next time, not out. Peace. Bye bye. Da 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 da